we were selected in 2018 as preferred tenderer for the project and the brief was to um, create a building that is for the whole community, not just for sport people. Um, and that will be innovative, environmentally sustainable, dynamic, and that will be iconic in the Cumberland City Council. Doing this job as a full multidisciplinary engineering for all of Lock Northrop people with DWP, Bermuda, and the Rubner is, is, is just a full turnkey solutions, which is rare for many jobs, like the engineers will work uh, in isolation to the architect and the builder, etc. This collaborative environment is very important. To be honest, I was um, nervous at the beginning because I knew that we had this shop drying process and then everything is going to be manufactured off site, shipped and then assembled on site. And if there is a mistake, you can't just replace it and, and make it work on site. So um, it was a process that um, went through for a couple of months with Rubna and Northrop, um, and just making sure that we went through every single detail, every single connection. Well, Theco were great. I think that was an important part of the puzzle. Obviously, at the start of the project, um, when we we're engaging uh, Rubna through Theca. There, there was a bit of concern there. In essence, you, you know, part of the deal was that we had to pay for a lot of the material and for the work up front without seeing a stick of timber. So you can imagine for a person that once runs a private organisation in terms of, you know, the certainty in terms of delivery with COVID mixed in with that. But I have to say that, uh, the Theco were very responsive. Yeah, I think just being a stadium for me, um, being involved with sports all my life and seeing a timber construction and as you pointed out before, the cantilever um, over the actual pavilion, I thought, wow, this is a really good job. We would really like to be involved with it. Not to mention the sustainability issue um, as well, which is really pushing into sports facilities more and more. work in an industry that's guilty of uh, one of the biggest carbon emission industry in the world. So doing something about it, it's always very important to me. And I believe that you need to think big and act small, one step at a time. So having projects like this, it shows to the wider industry and society that what can be done with sustainable. Our timber comes from sustainable plantations. So um, just in one of the plantation forests we have, there's over 300 million trees, okay? 300 million. So when we do a project like this, if you look at the scope of, of the cutting, the growing, the cutting, the growing, it takes about eight minutes to regrow what's here. That's fact, okay? We don't use old growth forests. It's actually you're not allowed in Europe. For me, when you talk about sustainability um, and being carbon neutral, this is um, a practical way in terms of ensuring that we can do those things in terms of future generations. And the benefit is not only the sustainability, but also the aesthetics at the end. Part of being just sports architects, we also do a lot of residential, um, retail, uh, hospitality, commercial, cultural projects. And all that knowledge that comes in all of those projects is integrated in all our designs. We are very committed to sustainability and we are trying to um, get across in all our projects and to approach to our clients with all new ideas. Working on this project, I think I'll push Timber on every single proposal. Um, it is really educating clients that Timber is a great product. It really does start with the architect and part of my job in Australia is I do talk to a lot of architects on a daily basis about Timber, uh, Timber buildings and just to show them, even if it's just to give them that little bit of insight of what can be done, we want architects to obviously move down the sustainability path because it's highly important for climate change, but at the same time we want them to say, right, what can be done? I mean, we've got a really nice splayed roof out here, but 
this is the beginning. We can do splayed, we can do curves. It's, it's quite endless, really. At Norto, we are going to advocate sustainable material and sustainable structure. And a sport facility is a really good one uh, because not only it's structurally uh, doable and aesthetically uh, pleasing, but create a live environment for people. DFMA is the most important thing. So design for manufacturing and assembly. So it's no point getting a design of a building and then putting it out to tender for timber when you haven't used timber before or your um, engineer hasn't used timber or he's not an expert in it. After doing a number of different projects and working with experts in Europe, uh, we weren't worried about, actually we were trying, pushing and convincing the end client to use timber because we knew that uh, Rubner has this expertise and because of the knowledge we gained and the lesson learned that we found in the previous projects, we knew that this project is going to work. It was pretty ambitious, it wasn't like any other project with a large cantilever, but we were pretty confident we could get it to work. The reality is, is that Australia has a lot of um, requirements around certification and also um, ensuring that supply materials, uh, goods meet our standards. So given the fact that uh, timber, the timber does come from Europe, you really need to make sure that the two sync with one another so that um, when obviously the timber comes here and we erect it, that uh, the project can be certified at the end. There's also some intermediary phases in terms of you know propping, um, bracing, etc. So some of those things need to be also worked out with the engineers on site in terms of the staging, in terms of how we put, bring the structure together during installation. And Northrop did a great job. We have connections in our timber already already installed. Uh, all the CNC and uh, machining we have allows for that. We don't ever say to a builder, let's bring the timber out, let's take it to a factory, let's manufacture some brackets, componentry, and then we'll bring it back to site and then we'll install it. We like to bring the timber out to Australia, connections, splice joints, all ready to go. We have communication uh, with Northrop and then with Theca, um, and um, it, it was great. Uh, both Adam and Paolo are great guys. Um, they understand um, everything about the building. Um, they could understand my concerns if I had any at the time. Um, they would explain, they were that middle guy between the Rubna and myself. Um, but um, yeah, all, all together, even the guys in, in Rubna in Italy, they speak perfect English. There's like no, no surprises. <laughs> is a group of companies, about 27 companies, um, over 1,300 employees that started um, its activity about six years ago. Um, we are in Bresonone, we are in their facility factory in Bresonone. Um, we um, are in a facility with over 26,000 square meters indoor and uh, about 140 people are uh, working here. I believe Australia is going to show the world a master class of architecture and engineering in the next decade and timber will be a crucial part of it. We obviously want to be part of it as timber specialists. I think the team all around, it was uh, one of those projects where without the collaboration, um, the project doesn't work because you had collaboration between our client with Cumberland City Council, Arubna, Theca, DWP, Savcon did an excellent job. By everyone working together, we were able to 
really pull this structure in together very quickly. I suppose my peace of mind came when we got the first container delivered and uh, we had the crane out there um, and they uh, landed the first column and then we started putting up all the frames and the beams and then everything sort of fit like jigsaw. COVID really didn't affect us. We actually have delivered three jobs during COVID, uh, Granville being one of them, or Eric Tweedle Stadium. So we don't have any issues. The uh, amount of time it takes is about six weeks for shipping only. So if you're looking for uh, a timeline, there you just have to allow for that six weeks within your program. But we don't have any issues with um, shipping at all. Sports for Tekka and, and Rubna, I see there's, um, especially with the Olympic Games for Brisbane, I think it's a really good opportunity for Australian designers, engineers to actually showcase uh, what we can do, how we can actually show the world that we can actually build with sustainable buildings. And I'm not just talking zero carbon, I'm talking negative carbon. As far as big spanning, aquatic centres, uh, training facilities, it's, there's a lot of scope for it. It's just a matter of understanding what and how it can be done and doing that procurement at the right time and in the right way. We see that as a very exciting times for, um, for ourselves, timber in general and uh, environmentally. We won uh, three awards, the Australian Design Timber Awards. So we got the best public commercial building, um, public choice, which is the best engineering and the overall winner of 2021 <laughs> Australian Design Team Awards. <laughs> it was a huge recognition for the teamwork that's been done. The important part is not winning the award, the important part is helping, as I mentioned, the community and society to understand this is doable. This is a new material. Don't consider the engineered timber similar to the old timber that you were using in the house. The strength of this material is equivalent to concrete in, in, in some aspects. Aesthetically, it's much nicer and carbon footprint, we talked a lot, that how much you could, you could, you could reduce the carbon footprint of the building. The best thing for me is that, um, to see the, the finished product. That's for me and that's what uh, we're all about. We're about building, we're about uh, leaving a legacy. And um, for me, ha not having had much experience with uh, CLT and uh, glue lamb timber in the past, to see a structure, sustainable structure, and the mass timber element and uh, the way we were able to put it together, and everyone coming together, working together, was um, what we do. We have lots of passionate uh, rugby fans in our office, so they are dying to come uh, to watch games here, especially in our Parramatta office, supporting Blues, and they, like, honestly, I, I myself, I really like to come. I was talking to, with Ivana, the architect here. She said the first game is 5th of February. I'm counting down to come and watch the game here. Would be really fantastic. <laughs> This uh, stadium is going to be home to two Blues rugby team and they are so excited about it. They are saying it's a benchmark, it will be so exciting for new generations. I had a great client, I had great um, structural engineer, great timber supplier, builder, so we all work together and it, it really is it's a great product of that collaboration.